What is up guys, Abby is here. Hope you guys are having a good day. In today's video guys, we're gonna talk about the four ways you will actually lose money um, if you drop ship like this way or with these methods or just you know not pay attention to, to what you're doing, right? When you drop ship, okay? Because again, it, it's pretty easy to get into, but then when you actually get deep into things, like a lot of the small things, guys, a lot of these small factors really come into play and I'm, that's what you'll see with trusty whiteboard here and everything else, but four reasons you will lose money drop shipping, you know, this way or with these products or however you're doing it, right? Number one, you're not paying enough attention to your numbers, okay? I'm gonna explain this on the whiteboard, okay? Number two, you suck at handling refunds. You don't really know how to properly handle refunds, all right? Number three is you don't really have your back end covered, right? So particularly with suppliers, I'll get more of that. And then number four, guys, is you're ruining customer trust when they hit your site, all right? So those are four reasons. I'm gonna just break that down for you, all right? Um, we're gonna work backwards, actually, so because the first one kind of a... Uh, um, more in depth. Okay, so number four, right? Ruining customer trust. Like, what, what, what does that, what does that mean? So basically, a lot of you guys, right? When, when you're downloading these apps on Shopify, and you're using that kind of stuff. Um, I see a lot of you guys using, you know, anything to involve with scarcity or FOMO, uh, like fear of missing out, or you know, those sales pop apps, right? There's nothing bad about those, but it is easy to abuse them. So for example, for example, a lot of you guys will have, you know, a, a countdown timer or something, right? So you'll drive traffic to, to a specific Instagram page or product page, and it'll have on there, it'll say like, hey, this product is 50% off for the next hour, for the next 30 minutes, for the next two hours, right? Um, and it, it works, right? Because again, you, you want to capitalize on them, you want to get them to like impulse buy, essentially, before they have time to check other stores, check Amazon, like check the other stuff, right? You want to kind of like close them right away. Like that's the, that's the whole point of it, okay? The reason it's easily abusable and how it can actually deter customers from buying is if you have it on like every single page, guys. It's like, they'll see a product on your page, they like it, they're considering it, right? But obviously they might not necessarily trust you completely yet. So then they browse your site, right? They take a look at all the other products and if they see this on every single product where, oh, this product is 50% off for the next two hours. This product is 50% off for the next two hours. This one's 80% off for the next two hours. Like, they realize it's, I mean, like it, that, that, that scarcity value that you just had in them is, is gone now, right? And if that's the case, they leave. Like, they, they don't buy from you, okay? So that's number one where you can basically, all that hard-earned money you spend to either get them to your site via shout outs, Facebook ads, whatever it is, you just lost. Like, they're not, they're not buying from you now, okay? And now you, they might not ever like buy again from you since you've already ruined that trust. And once trust is like broken, it's kind of hard, kind of hard to bring back, okay? So that's reason number four, okay? Um, the third one is working with bad suppliers, right? Your, your back end is not covered, okay? A lot of you guys, right? When you get into dropshipping, you spend so much time on the front end, right? So you look at the website, you make sure your website looks good, um, it looks clean aesthetically, your Instagram looks good, blah, 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 whatever it is, your product looks good, your description looks good, whatever, okay? But a lot of you guys, you kind of rush into, okay, this is the product I wanna buy, I'm gonna load up a bunch that are like this, and then I'm gonna work on everything else to get customers in and buy it, right? Because you, you're excited, right? You wanna jump into it and start making money, but what you don't realize, or you don't, you don't source your suppliers properly, okay? And what I mean by that is, one, you're not looking around patiently enough because I guarantee you there's multiple suppliers selling what you're selling, okay? On AliExpress or whatever, wherever you're importing them from, okay? What that means is that oftentimes they use very competitive pricing, so you can usually find ones a lot cheaper or just cheaper in general, okay? Also, like besides even price point, guys, that you can lose money is the suppliers just don't fulfill your orders, okay? Some of you guys see a product right away and the price looks too good to be whatever it is, you'll add that product in and then you'll go back right later realizing once you get the customer's email saying, hey, where's my product? It hasn't shipped yet, blah, blah, blah. If you just haven't like looked at it in a while, you'll realize, oh, this supplier actually never shipped my product. They never fulfilled it. Then you look at their track record, that product only has like five orders or something like that, right? Like, like that supplier hasn't been consistent or like they just haven't had a lot of volume where they just don't really care about shipping orders like on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? So like that, that can be a very, very, very big issue that you run into and can easily be overlooked if you don't really know what you're doing or if you're just like rushing into the process, right? So just like evaluating your suppliers, your back end essentially, making sure they're credible, making sure that they'll actually fulfill your orders, making sure the price is good, all that kind of stuff is really important. Um, and saves you money in the long run, okay? Now, reason number two is you suck at handling refunds, all right? That, what that means is you don't know how to actually handle refunds. And a lot of times, guys, um, this happened with me, a lot of my sites too, you will get customers that essentially like bully you um, into trying to get their money back. Even if they receive the product in excellent condition, they will threaten, you know, chargebacks, PayPal disputes, and that stuff, like it, it affects your merchant account. If you get too many chargebacks or disputes on PayPal, they can, you know, put holds on your account. They can shut your account down if it's too much or something like that, right? If you get too many chargebacks in your bank, they might, you know, increase your whatever they're charging you or they might just tell you to switch providers, okay? Like stuff like that, guys, 
And that's why it's really good. Again, the back end is very, very important, and that's why I stress it. So you want to like kind of protect that at all costs, because if that's bad, everything else crumbles in the front. Okay. So how to actually go about that, or how to actually go about like good refunds, guys, is one: only accept refunds if they ship the product back to you. All right, so basically you have to basically tell them or like how I would kind of structure my email is like, hey, that's absolutely fine. If you want a refund, we'll accept it. You just have to ship it back to our warehouse. Our team will inspect it. And upon approval of, you know, determining that it's faulty or damaged, we'll issue you a refund, like a full refund, okay? And a lot of times if they actually had the product and it like works for them and it's good and they're trying to bully you, they just won't respond or they'll, you know, say, okay, whatever, it's fine. I'm good, right? And that's one way to handle refunds efficiently, guys. And then if you do receive the product back from them, right, you can issue them your refund. It's a lot better than losing more money on a chargeback or losing you know your your reputation with your merchant accounts um, via disputes and stuff like that guys so like do issue your refunds and then from there what do you do with that product right because it's just like because you're most likely a one-man team if you're just getting start drop shipping so you probably like at your house or something right um, to actually recoup the losses don't really mess with actually filing a refund with AliExpress guys because then it's not really cost efficient to ship it back to the Chinese warehouse or wherever it's coming from. Um, what you usually can do is if you really, really care about you know that, that few extra bucks, $4, $5, whatever your product price is, right? Uh, you can list it on eBay or you can sell it secondhand, something like that, right? If you really care. It's not too big of a deal guys, but it's worth it. It's a lot, it's a lot more worth your time basically than you know getting that charge back getting that dispute and usually having them ship it back to you helps also deter um that that refund rate okay now the first reason right reason number one guys what i want to talk to you about is like you don't you don't you don't know your numbers i realize i haven't even used the whiteboard here i've just kind of been going off but i can use this for you guys but essentially what, what i want to break down to you guys right is is check this out okay so for example let's just say for the sake of this right you are selling one product on your website right? this is just to make things easy okay you're selling one product uh, I don't know how to draw just okay you're selling one pro uh, sideways one okay one product okay I don't even know if you guys can see, I don't even know if you guys can see that okay that's terrible handwriting but you're selling one product on your Shopify site okay you're selling that for like $14.99 okay $14.99 now Let's say, for instance, that it costs you, I don't know, $5, all right? $5 for the actual product, okay? So you're selling the product for $5, okay? And let's say, for instance, e-packet is $2, all right? So right off the bat, it's looking like your cost of the actual product per sale, essentially, is, you know, $7. You're walking away with, what, $7.99 in profit, theoretically, okay? Now, that, that's, that's really what most people only look at. They're like... Okay, I, it cost me $5, it's $2 for e-packet, um, I'm giving them free international shipping, which is what I recommend to people. And then, you know, hey, I walk away with $8, basically $8 in profit, right? Well, not really, <laughs> not really. So, what you're doing to factor in is your monthly Shopify, right? $29 a month, say you're on the basic plan, essentially that's $1 a month. I don't know, if you're doing higher volume, it really doesn't matter, but that is something to play with like, if you're just getting started. But besides the point, it's, it's your marketing cost, right? A lot of people don't factor in that. So basically, if you're running Facebook guys, if you're running whatever, what if when you first get started and you're just testing Facebook ads, for example, right? For example, for the sake of example, guys, it could cost you, you know, $5 per conversion on Facebook, okay? If it costs you $5 for, to run Facebook ads to actually get someone to purchase your $14.99 product, like that essentially adds on to your cost of goods. So now, theoretically, right, with, with those numbers, you're, you're, you're only walking with $2.99 in profit, okay? Obviously, that's a really high, really high conversion conversion rate for, for a $14.99 product, but that's just something to be aware of, guys. And then all these little things add up, right? Shopify monthly, the your apps monthly, all that kind of stuff. And especially if you guys are just getting started, right? You might have like a $100 day, right? But if you have a $100 day, how much did your shout-out cost you, okay? How much did, you know, like, with that shout out, whatever it was, what did you walk away with? Like, how many, how much orders did you get? What's the cost of it? Like, guys, knowing your numbers and breaking that down is super, super, super important. Um, like for me, when I like when I first start my sites, I have a little like basically what I do is I'm a very like visually oriented. Like, I have to see all these numbers. I have a spreadsheet and I write all this stuff down. Okay, whatever products I'm selling on my site, right? I have the numbers broken down. Like, guys, even include the Stripe processing fee or this. The whatever it is, like 2.9%, right? All that stuff plays into effect. It's usually 2.9% plus 30 cents, something like that, okay? All that stuff, it plays into your cost per product, and that's the thing that a lot of people like overlook, right? They'll just say, oh, I made, you know, $15 today, and they don't realize, you know, they spent $20 on a shout out, they're already negative, blah, blah, blah. They, like, obviously, it's good to see a sale. It means, you know, you converted, at least, but you know you always want to work on actually converting more or lowering you know your 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 actual your own costs because sometimes it's harder to actually 
increase your profit, like like scaling wise, but it's easier to decrease your cost of goods, right? And de by decreasing your cost of goods, obviously you walk away more profit. So that's stuff to consider, guys. That's the uh, that's the four 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 reasons why you guys can lose money drop shipping. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, I respond to everybody's comments. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. And be sure to check out the course, guys. Um, I might actually be delisting it. There's more news on that soon, just because some other stuff uh, came up. So that should be, should be interesting. But yeah, guys, I definitely urge you guys to check that out. Link is in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e-commerce related from the mastery course, the free PDFs, and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool. It's all night. I can do this all day. I can do this all night. Don't, don't, don't. Don't give me too easy, I like a little challenge When it feels better, will you take a little damage? Slow, learn it fast, earn it, stay burning